Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm starting something new on Fridays where I'm going to do just a small little canvas and just a quick fun pour. Um, I thought it might be kind of a fun little Friday thing. So um, I thought about naming it Quickie Friday and then I thought, no, that's, <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. So um, anyway, if you want to help me figure out a name for the Fridays, um, Fast Fridays, Quick Pour Fridays, um, Give me your opinions in the um, comments below. We'll try and find a name for these fun Fridays. Um, but they're all going to be quick and little canvases. The other thing is um, I'm going to be taking suggestions from the comments. So if you have anything you want to see, any color combinations, any techniques, um, I'll be taking suggestions. I thought it just might be kind of fun. There are some things you can do on little canvases that you can't do on larger canvases um, because some of the effects get kind of busy if you do it on a larger canvas. It's easier to get something interesting without having to worry about um, the overall composition quite as much. So um, I thought it might be kind of fun. So for my, my first little canvas Friday, um, that doesn't work for a name either. So <laughs> keep trying. Um, I'm going to try and sort of recreate um, the last pour I did. I will link that um, to this video if you want to watch that. Um, but it didn't, it was kind of neat. It had some neat things, but for a larger canvas it was too much. It was too busy. But I thought maybe on a small canvas it would work because it wouldn't be so overwhelming. So um, my colors are, and I did a dirty, or I did a flip cup. So I'm going to do a flip cup again today. Um, my colors are Ripe Tomato, Royal Blue, Pale Daffodil, all these will be in the description bar as well. Where's my um, white? Ah, here it is. Uh, Waverly Chalk in Plaster, and the only change I made uh, was the teal the last time I used... Um, I think this is agave. Yep, I used agave, and I went a little brighter this time. And I went with Peacock. Same brand of paint, but I just wanted a brighter color. Um, I have all my colors mixed with just paint and water. No silicone, um, no mediums, no additives. Um, when I did it on a larger canvas, I used Floetrol and Nova Color Medium. And I used some silicone. Um, I'm just going to do paint and water this time and sort of see what we get. Um, and I'm going to do the flip cup again. And I should have plenty of paint here. So we'll see. We'll just pour them all into this cup. I don't remember what order I did it in. Maybe I should have gone and looked. I think I'll do um, blue, teal, orange, yellow. That's what I'll do. And we'll see. I'm hoping they don't mix too much in the flip cup and turn to mud. I have not done a flip cup with just paint and water in a while. So we shall see. And yellow. I'm just going to see real quick for, um, whoops, in case anybody's curious. This is a 5 by 7 um, canvas. I'm going to weigh it real quick, see how much paint we have here for future reference. Six, it's 70, oh, 66 grams or 2.3 ounces. Just for the next time I use this size canvas, um, or if you have a canvas this size and you're wondering how much paint to use, we will see what we get. Okay, I do not have a very good hold of the cup. Here we go. I used a Tupperware the last time, and since it's such a large, um, it was this, actually. I get, did get some neat skins in the last pour. 
Um, but I use this as my um, flip cup, and I think because it, since it has such a um, large space, it allowed the paint to mix a little bit more than I would like. Okay, and there we go. Let's tilt a little bit. It's not getting too muddy, which is good. Whoa. Okay, I want a little bit less. Can you see what I'm doing here? I hope so. Um, of the orange. There we go. Oh, I've got something. Little blobs there. Or something. Must have had a color that didn't mix real well. Okay, this is getting busy. That's okay. I don't know if I want to this or not probably not because I don't want it any busier I did have plenty of paint probably more than I needed I would have liked a little bit more blue that's okay it only got muddy in one spot where I was trying to figure out what that blob was everything else looks good all the colors oop sorry guys um stayed Separated. Let's see if that side is covered. Just one little spot. Now that my hands are messy, I'm going to grab the camera and give you guys a close up. It's still some things popping up. Maybe I will torch real fast because I'm um, getting some larger cells which in the yellow um, which I'm liking maybe I should just let it sit for a second okay, I am gonna have to tilt because right here there's a little bit of canvas texture so I think I needed my paint to be just a little thicker like I said I haven't used just paint and water for quite a while and I know you can't see what I'm doing here, guys. I apologize. I need to find a way to have the camera above me, I think. Let's see. Popsicle stick. Something. Nope, that's not what that is. That is not paint. Ooh, that left kind of a neat little. Let's see if we can drag. Okay, I am going to torch. I'm just going to see. A lot of the yellow ended up coming up right there. Whoa. Okay, not going to torch. Well, maybe that's white. I thought maybe that was the canvas showing through, but I think that's the plaster. Hmm. Okay, I just got a couple little, almost fingerprint looking cells from that, so we'll call it good. Totally different than what the other one looked like. I think the other one was uh, mostly yellow on top, but like I said, I can't remember the order I, I poured in, so try and do it without a shadow. Kind of interesting. I do like the little bit of orange. Totally different than the first one. So there was our quick Friday, fast Friday, something Friday. Any ideas, leave them in the comments below. If you want to make sure you see um, more of the Friday small canvases, <laughs> make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Um, check out the links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook in the description box, and I'll have a picture of it um, dried for you on, on my social media. So we will see you there, and as always, guys, happy pouring!